Hey guys, welcome back to Fantasy Tip. My name is Julian, and in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the Vegas Golden Knights. We're going to be breaking down their players and what players I think you should be drafting for your upcoming fantasy drafts. Before we get started, guys, please leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'm trying to hit at least a thousand subs this year, and we're almost there. Thank you so much, guys. Let's jump right into their lines. So aside from the new acquisitions, I'm not expecting a whole lot to change in terms of Vegas' lines. That top line is still going to be Pacioretty, Stevenson, and Stone. That second line is still going to be Marcheseau, Carlson, and Riley Smith, like it has been since the very beginning of this team. And that third line, I'm expecting to be Jan Mark, Nolan Patrick, and Dadanov. On defense, we got Martinez, Pietrangelo, McNabb, Theodore, Haig, Whitecloud, and the Nets, Leonard, and Braswa. Jumping into the players now, and the guy who's being drafted the earliest on Vegas is Robin Leonard, who's being drafted around 19th overall on average. And do I like that draft ranking? I don't hate it. I'm not a huge fan of drafting goalies early, but if you're going to draft a goalie early, Robin Leonard is probably the guy to draft. Vegas is one of the top five teams in the league. And guess what? They don't have a tandem anymore of both Leonard and Flurry. Flurry is gone, so Leonard's going to get like almost all the starts besides like the back-to-backs because Laurent Brassois, yeah, he's a decent backup, but he's not going to get more than the back-to-back games. I really like Robin Leonard this year. Next is Max Pacioretty, and he's a guy who I love to draft in fantasy. Why? Well, he's a guy who's insanely valuable. The guy shoots an insane amount. The dude finished 15th in the league in shots on goal last year, and that's with missing his final eight games of the season. He shoots a lot and he's insanely valuable. He also scores a lot. So do not be afraid to draft Max Pacioretty where he's going in fantasy. Definitely worth his ADP. Next is his line mate, Mark Stone, who's also being drafted pretty early around the same range at 42.4. Is Mark Stone worth it? I think so as well. Last year, his shooting percentage was super inflated, but his ADP isn't really reflecting how he performed last year. So I still think he's pretty valuable where he's being drafted. If you have the choice between Pacioretty and him, I'd much rather Pacioretty just because he's going to score more goals and shoot a little bit more. So he's the safer pick. Mark Stone, though, definitely still a good pick. Next are defensemen Pietrangelo and Shea Theodore. And if this season is anything like last season, Shea Theodore is going to be on that top power play with Pacioretty and Stone, whereas Pietrangelo is slated to be on that second power play. That second power play in Vegas is still pretty good and gets a good amount of power play time. So I'm not too worried about Pietrangelo's production, but I don't necessarily expect his production to be that much better than it was last year, but a point every two games. Pietrangelo gets value also from his peripherals, so his shooting, his block shots. So I don't mind Pietrangelo. He's just going a little bit too early, in my opinion, considering he's not really going to put up those offensive numbers. He's going to get about 40 points. So I don't really love him where he's being drafted unless he ends up getting that top power play. Shea Theodore, on the other hand, though, I do really like him where he's being drafted. He's being drafted much later than Pietrangelo, and he's going to get more points. He shoots the puck a good amount as well. Should end up with a good plus minus, just like everybody else in Vegas. Next is Jonathan Marcheseau, and he is an insanely safe pick where he's currently being drafted. He's always a safe pick every single year. Why? Because the dude shoots the puck a ridiculous amount. Last year, he was 11th in the league in shots on goal. So if you want a safe guy, a guy who's going to have a safe floor night in and night out, Marcheseau is your guy. Next is Alec Martinez, and last year he had an amazing season, getting a pretty nice amount of points, and also putting up a ridiculous amount of blocked shots. If you need blocked shots, Martinez is the guy you want to draft. He was leaps and bounds above any other defenseman last year in terms of blocked shots. Now, do I think he's going to produce as good offensively this year as he did last year? Well, it depends if he gets that second power play time this year. Right now, it looks like he might be getting that second power play time. I'm not sure he will the entire year, but even if he doesn't, the dude has a lot of value. He should at least hit 35 to 40 points this year, and he's going to be blocking a lot of shots once again. I'm also not worried about that plus minus because Vegas is a great team, and they will continue to be a good team in a bad division. Next is William Carlson, and I don't love him this year. I think he's going to do decently on that second line with Marshall Zoe and Riley Smith. But I think there's other picks here that you can make with more upside at his range. Even though it's pretty late, I think there are better upside picks than William Carlson. Next is Chandler Stevenson. And I 
thought about this one a little bit. I don't think he's going to be getting any power play time this year with Dadunov and Nolan Patrick joining the team. But he's still going to be playing on that top line with Pacioretty and Stone, right? Like, there's a lot of value to that. There is, however, a chance that he loses that top line to Nolan Patrick. But we said the same thing last year, right? That he's probably going to lose a top line to Cody Glass. Never ended up doing that. So we'll have to see. But right now, from what I've seen, Chandler Stevenson's a pretty good draft price around 107. Next is Evgeny Dadunov, and I'm not super high on him this year. He's only going to be playing on the third line, second power play. So I think he's going to do okay, but I don't really think he's worth drafting this year. Same thing with Riley Smith. That second line is going to do pretty well, but he doesn't do that much on that second line, right? He shoots the puck an okay amount, and he's going to get a point every two games or so, but there are definitely better options available than Riley Smith, unless you're in a really, really deep league, in which case it might be worth drafting him late, late in the draft. Next is Alex Tuck, and normally I'd say, I don't mind drafting Alex Tuck. Don't love it, but I don't hate it. But unfortunately, the dude's injured till at least January or February. So he's definitely not worth drafting unless you're in like the deepest, deepest of leagues and you have a pretty big IR, in which case you can just throw him on there until he's healthy. Other than that, though, he's not worth drafting and stashing on an IR spot for that long. The only other guy worth talking about is Nolan Patrick. And like I mentioned, I don't think he has that much value playing on the third line. The only thing that would make him fantasy viable is if he ends up replacing Chandler Stevenson on that top line with Pacioretty and Stone. Right now, that's not the case, but we'll have to keep our eyes on that. For now, don't draft Nolan Patrick. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. I really appreciate it. Please leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Hope you enjoyed the content, and I'll catch you in the next episode of Fantasy Tip.